article that was written about my capacity as a mayor, capacity as a pastor. The article is not who or what I am. That is exactly who you are, and you should be allowed to live your life as yourself openly. This is the costume you're wearing, not the drag you assumed. This is my wife and the privacy of our home an attempt of humor, because I know I'm not a handsome man nor a beautiful woman either. This will not cause my life to change. This will not waver my devotion to my... Wrong? Wrong! You put a gun to your head. We go to Alabama where this is a tragic fucking story. Let's see how much the local news actually gets into it. Then I'll fill in the gaps if they don't tell you everything. Funeral arrangements are currently underway for Smith Station Mayor Bubba Copeland. The family will receive friends this Wednesday for the visitation from 4.30 until 8 p.m. at Vance Brooks Funeral Home in Phoenix City. The funeral service will be held at 3 p.m. on Thursday at First Baptist Church in Phoenix City. With Yeah, they ain't getting into it. They're just telling you the arrangements. Lee County Sheriff Jay Jones confirmed Smith Station mayor. I guess he was mayor at the time. I thought he was a former mayor. He is dead following a controversy from posted online pictures. According to the sheriff's office, around 4.15 Central Time, November 3rd, deputies received information regarding the mayor needing a possible welfare check. Deputies found Copeland in the Beulah community area where a slow pursuit began. Officials say the mayor turned onto Lee Road 275 north of Yarbrough's Crossroads and pulled over. When he exited his vehicle, he produced a handgun and he used it to take his own life. Prior to his death, Newsleader 9 spoke with 1819 reporter Craig Monger, who originally published an article showing several photos of Copeland dressed in women's clothing. He says all the quotes in his story were from Phoenix City Reverend and Smith Station Mayor. This is the story in question from 1819 News. The Secret Life of Smith Station Mayor and Baptist Pastor F.L. Bubba Copeland as a transgender curvy girl. Uh, he looked good in drag. Really cute. Seven years later, Copeland's vision was coming to fruition as he grappled with the growth, but trying to maintain Smith Station's loyalty to its small town roots. I always say we're Mayberry, he said during a March interview. Four years earlier, Copeland had led the city through a horrific devastation of a March storm. It also led to an EF4 uh, tornado. Mr. and Copeland FaceTime with then-President Donald Trump, who was touring the storm devastation. This station had experienced ups and downs throughout Copeland's tenure. Copeland earned the respect of local elected officials. He is the lead pastor at the First Baptist Church in nearby Phoenix City and owns a convenience store. By all accounts, Copeland had a busy and meaningful life. However, during this time, he also had a secret life playing out online on social media and Reddit. This station's mayor operated social media accounts as a transgender woman, a cross-dresser there. Uh, slandering with the word... No, it's not slander. Misidentifying as transgender. Under the pseudonym, Bratini Blair Summerlin. Okay, maybe, maybe they referred to themselves as a transitioning transgender curvy girl. We also, we don't know if there has been... Editing on this. New story about a young man obsessed with big bimbo women. So he becomes one. Bertini Blair Summerlin.
Despite maintaining what appears to be an active online alter ego, Copeland continues to perform his pastoral duties at the First Baptist Church of Phoenix City. In the social media, in the social media post, Copeland can be seen wearing several articles of his wife's clothing shown by her social media. That's his wife. He's got his wife's outfit. He looks better in it than his wife. Additionally, Copeland regularly commented on other posts referring to himself as a thick transgender woman and encouraging other transgender individuals to go on hormone replacement therapy. Copeland also posted transgender pornography, often giving vivid captions describing being a whore and getting fucked. Which is totally cool. Where's it at? You live in sexual anarchy. Another reason why I try to fight repression so hard. This dude wanted to... Maybe maybe they wanted to be referred to as a she. In, in another timeline where we are accepting of people and we're loving instead of judgmental. This person might have got to live their life as they wanted to as a woman not felt repression, not felt the pressure from society, and wouldn't have fucking killed themselves! In an interview with 1819 News, Copeland confirmed that he operated the account and was featured in the pictures. He claimed it was only a means of getting rid of stress and called the postings a hobby and a fantasy. He also said his erotica was purely fiction. After the interview, Copeland promptly deleted the accounts and asked them not to be made public due to his family and position as a pastor. Copeland initially denied having any knowledge of the accounts, but when he was made aware of the social media evidence, he quickly admitted to running the page. He also said that his wife was aware of his activity, but no one else in the community. Despite his claim of this online lifestyle being little more than a casual pastime, Copeland did offer advice to others on chemically transitioning... He emphatically stated that he does not feel like a woman and has not undertaken a medical transition. However, he has offered his Instagram handle as a method for people to reach out to him, which he claimed was a means to make friends. Copeland also declined to offer any explanation to the citizens of Smith Station or his church parishioners about his so-called hobby. He said he believed his activity was not relevant and only relegated to the privacy of his home. He repeatedly referred to his activity as akin to dress up and cosplay. And he isn't alive anymore because you people wanted to fucking judge him. Newsleader 9 also spoke with some people in the community. We're back to the actual news source now, who said that they were saddened by the news in so many ways. Things that were obviously private came out publicly and quite frankly, unexpectedly. I can't imagine again what that must be like for the mayor, his family, or for anyone who's been affected by this. Probably the most heart-wrenching thing about uh, it is the effect it's going to have, uh, going to be on the, the effect that it is going to be on the community. AlabamaBaptist.org posted that we have become aware of the alleged unbiblical behavior related to the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Phoenix City. We are praying for the leaders of the church family as they seek to determine the truth concerning these accusations. As the people of God, we pray for the pastor and his family as well. We are in the con a consolation we are in consolation with the Russell Baptist Association's leadership as they endeavor to assist the First Baptist family during this critical time of need. This, is, this was this dude preaching? Nation Church, people of Facebook. I've been an object of an internet attack. An article that was written about my capacity as a mayor, capacity as a pastor. The article is not who or what I am. Yes, I have taken pictures. No, no, motherfucker. That is exactly who you are, and you should be allowed to live yourself, live your life as yourself openly. 
This is the facade. This is this is the fakeness. We have to get up here and, and pretend to be a fucking preacher. Ass backwards. This is this is the costume you're wearing, not the drag you assumed. This is my wife and the privacy of our home when attempt of humor. Because I know I'm not a handsome man nor a beautiful woman either. I apologize for any embarrassment caused by my private and personal life that has come publicly. This will not cause my life to change. This will not waver my devotion to my Wrong? Wrong. You put a gun to your head. Family. To serving my city. To serving my church. I'm thankful for the grace of God and the willingness to forgive. I have nothing to be ashamed of. No, you don't. A lot of things that were said were taken out of context. And in conclusion, I love my family. They're number one. And again, I'm sorry for what my actions have caused. And I'm thankful for the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that have reached out to me today in love and I know that there are others that have not but just know I love you and Jesus loves you as well brother or sister if only you had come out and found a community with the LGBTQ community you would have found you would have found the love and acceptance that you so, so sorely needed and maybe you would still be with us today.